It's been a good day, um, but it's beginning to get a bit hard to do this. Support, and we fully stand with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The worry for Nazneen remains A, how this goes, B, how the government responds to this, and then C, is she going to get that phone call saying come back to prison? At the moment she's not in prison, she's at Mum's house, so we can speak reasonably freely. Um, yeah, she was okay. Uh, I mean, nervous, anxious, not able to concentrate on anything. Partly because all this is going on, um, and there's just the natural worry you'd have as a wife when your husband does something crazy, like, like camping on the street in the cold. Um, uh, partly worried about Gabriella, so our daughter, who's now seven. And of course, it's a, it's a you know, a hunger strike's a fairly dark thing in a way. Um, so worried about the traumatic impact that will have on, on her. So far, it's been okay. And actually, the last couple of days we did some pumpkin carving, and she had her schoolmates come down and, and did some colouring. They've been decorating their tent behind us, uh, the camp behind us. You know, sort of fun stuff. I kind of wanted her to be part of it, so that when she grows up, she can look back with pride and know that she was part of battling to get her mum home. At this point in the hunger strike, we've now got two people staying over each night. They're there partly just to check I'm okay, but also. Just in case anyone comes in the middle of the night, um, like last night we had someone coming looking for alcohol, saw our table with bottles on it and was trying to get in. Um, and, and so having that bit of protection. Particularly far. Um, we're here doing a candlelit vigil. Well, to remember Nazanin, um, to remember that's why we're here. And I think I feel. Yeah, more fragile. Over the weekend, I was pretty tired. I, I found the middle of the candlelit vigil. That was the first time when I just felt suddenly like I, I had to sit down. I just feel quite dizzy and sick. Since then, I've been a lot more careful. There's been some movement from the Foreign Office in that, you know, Liz Truss spoke to the Iranian Foreign Minister Looks like the Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister is coming to the UK this week. Nazneen certainly, you know, being clearer that, that she wants me to be careful. Certainly clearer in her worries. And, you know, a lot of people are saying, listen, you can't go much longer. But not the saying, stop right now. Um, that may come. I mean, the way we'll, we'll work it, I think, is my brother-in-law is the doctor. It'll be in consultation with him. Um, you know, part of a hunger strike, it does generate worry. Um, it does degenerate deterioration very deliberately. As time goes on, you lose the ability to judge that yourself. You need others to, to step in, but others also to understand you know, the parameters of, of okay, when when's a safe pushing it and when's enough's enough no longer.